Good morning, Miami Art Studio. I'm one of your hosts, Brian Ferreiro. Sabrina, get off your phone. You could use it later. It's not a priority right now. Oops. And I'm your second host, Sabrina Lopez. Thank you. This year, we're looking back at all of our years at Moss, where we've realized that all of the ups and downs of high school and middle school have taught us more than we think. And we know that we're all still going through life's obstacles, so we've decided to put our past to a good cause and share with you guys some experiences that teach lessons. So that we can learn from each other's mistakes. Brian, shouldn't you speak for yourself? Well, you know, Sabrina, I've actually have made a few mistakes in the past when I didn't put my most intentional priorities first. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what priorities you put first? In my case, some of my priorities are things like my happiness, my mental health, and my physical health. And by putting these priorities first, I find my life way more organized and I just find myself much more happier and healthier. Like, for example, by putting my happiness first, I'm taking my time to appreciate my family, my friends, spend time with the people that I love, and being more organized when it comes to academics, and I find myself being much more happier when I'm productive. And by putting my physical health first, I like to go to the gym at least three to four times a week, and I just find that also like improves my mental health by so much. And my mental health, I like to take at least one day out of the week to just spend time on myself and do things that I care about, and just take care of myself and relax and I find myself much happier and much more satisfied after that day is over. Well, Sabrina, you know, in my opinion, I personally like to prioritize more of my education towards um, broadcasting and journalism in general. Uh, My core classes are still important to me, but I currently um, do have a photography and media company. So to me, a big priority of my life is is strengthening my work um, and creativity. But of course, getting into a good college and being able to have the actual academic grades for for that is is a big priority of mine. Well, Brian, shouldn't you be on your way to lunch? I just made it to lunch, and there are people everywhere. But I'm actually here with Annabella Bontonato. Um, my first priority is would have to be like God and like my relationship with God. I like value that, and I feel like when I put Him first, like everything falls good in my life. Like my faith is good. Like then I don't have to like control everything and like I have good faith that's my first priority thanks for sharing that story I think it's time to check back in with Sabrina hello hey so I just wrapped up with Annabella Pontonato what are you up to you caught me at the perfect time Brian I'm actually here with Ilya Ojeda a wellness coach with Chase and Balance and we're excited to get started I want to start off with asking her about some basic questions about the concepts of priorities So, Elliot, why are priorities important? Priorities are important because they support your, like, next goal, your next dream, your next, um, anything that supports, like, productivity. So, for example, if you have eight classes, which you guys have here, eight classes, right? And you're like, okay, all of them are extremely important. What do I do first? Um, Priorities help you be productive, uh, which is so extremely important because if you're not productive, then you're not getting anything done. In order to focus on your priorities, one must have the right strategies. What do you think that is the best option? The best strategy, there, there's different strategies, but I would probably say, um, one, you have, to be, you have to have a flexible character. So if like, you're one of those people that are like, super fixed, you're like, I have to have it this way or it's my way, then you're going to fail because real life, like, you, you get things thrown at you all the time. You know, you're like, all of a sudden, this lady says, I wasn't going to give you homework. Now she's giving homework. And you're like, what do I do? And you had a list, you know what I mean? So one, have a flexible mindset, super important. Not only is it important to properly strategize your priorities, but behind strategy is motivation. What can you tell us about motivation? Oh, okay, so motivation is like my thing. Um, And it's hard because we're not always motivated. Um, I would probably say, you know, self-dialogue, you guys need to learn like from a young age, like to learn to speak to yourself and motivate yourself, okay? Because you're not always pumped and, you know, We let, like, the environment put us down, other kids, other people, um, you know, sometimes teachers. It it, it, it all depends, you know what I mean? So it's important that you guys build, like, a, I call it a toolkit, you know? So when you're not motivated, you, like, hype, like, you have to be your number one hype person. Does that make sense? You know, so, because you can't wait for, like, Instagram to, like, validate you or TikTok or, you know, like, yeah, those are little things, but sometimes they, they counter contradict how we feel. 
So it's important that you guys build a really, really strong system within that, you, like you're your hype person, you know, get out of your funk, stay motivated. Okay, what's important to me? Um, you know, keep your priorities high. And I say, talk to yourself a lot because you're listening. And sometimes we're talking negative to ourselves and we really are listening. Thank you so much, Elia, for your time. And now let's check back in with Brian because I believe he's in the pack. Hey, Sabrina, I'm actually here delivering something to a teacher in the pack, and I just ran into Noel Chavez. Um, my first priorities to school, definitely, because I want to have a good future when I grow up. So school and probably friends and family. So I think that brings our very first episode to a close. And as we close it off, we hope that we gave you a new perspective on what to put first in your life. We also want to open up to what you guys have to say. And if you guys have any subjects that you want to speak about, drop it off in the box located in the cafeteria. I'm Sabrina Lopez. And I'm Brian Ferreiro. Come back next week to hear us talk about why it's so important and beneficial to open up about mental health.